Hi everyone, Claire Rock from O'Brien Real Estate Clark here today at number 18 Crawl Drive in Warrigal alongside Mr Daniel Sheehan. Hello everyone and uh, yeah, welcome to Waterford Rise Claire. Tell us yeah. a bit about it. It's a super popular estate, nice and close to town, so an easy walk. Uh, obviously great access back to the freeway as well, but one of the things that buyers really love in this estate is the abundance of walking paths and trails. Now down there, Daniel, with only five houses away, you can see we've got a of flooring, um, a lot of character in that wood grain there. Yeah, and then pan up to that ceiling. Yep, stained uh, timber panel ceiling there through the hallway. So Lovely fretwork and good cornices throughout the home as well. Yeah, so a little bit of extra height in the ceiling too. So here we are, main bedroom. Uh, got ceiling fan there. So it looks like we've got uh, a gas ducted heating through the roof and evaporative cooling. Evaporative cooling. And we've got some lovely plantation shutters here in the bay window of the main bedroom. It's a nice spacious room and that's uh, it's quite a nice feature. Yeah, it is indeed. And I love these little details around. You've got the uh, moulded like kind of chair rail panelling yeah. all the way around. And then uh, spacious walk-in room. Which, as you can see, can fit a lot in there, yeah. and then your ensuite here yeah, with a nice double or large, large shower with overhead shower head, spacious vanity there. There's what, six six doors there, so plenty of uh, storage space there. Nice big mirror, lovely. Hmm. Yeah, it's a nice little retreat. So popping in here, we've got this nice fretwork leading into the formal lounge. Good size again too, and uh, nice and separate from the other living space. It's yeah, so very easy to carry on a conversation in here or watch some telly, far away from the other living space in the home. Yeah, yeah. So we're using this as a fourth bedroom, nursery, home office, whatever you like. So you've got uh, dual blinds there, the whole blinds there, so a complete block out, and then the uh, privacy screen there as well. There's that rail again there. Yeah, it's got some lovely features. Nice colours too. Yes, yeah. And here into the main living space, so sort of got a meals area here. It's a nice light and bright room, and a nice it long is. room It is, you've got too. this beautiful eastern sun that will come through during the day. You'll get some lovely morning sunshine. But I think this uh, kitchen's the piece de resistance when you come up to this point. They say that you know, your visitors all congregate around the kitchen bench and this has got uh, plenty of space for that. It's yeah. a, a really it's nice space. It's approximately three metres long and Caesar stone. Yeah, I love the, uh, the profile on the uh, cabinetry. Again, there's little bits of fretwork there. Uh, nice big stove. Gas cooktop there, and you've got dishwasher just there with rubbish bins. You've also got the built in microwave as well. So, all of your kitchen components are taken care of. And just here at the bench there, so you've got a little sort of breakfast bar there with bar stools, and then the two door pantry at the end there. So, yep. plenty of storage space in the kitchen. Now, it's not often that we lead you straight into the laundry, but I think that this one is something a little bit special. You've got tons and tons of storage in there. Yeah, just a whole bank of uh, storage cupboards there along that uh, right hand side. And then to the left, yeah, you've got a huge amount of bench space, cupboards underneath and above. So, yeah, as far as laundries go, it's right up there, isn't it? Yeah, it's, you don't get it's much. It's really better. well fitted out, made a, a great use of space. So coming along to the family area now, you can see again really generous size, so plenty of space to accommodate whatever kind of furniture layout you like. And almost worth putting on a day like today, but uh not quite after our 35 degree day yesterday. This is a little gas log fireplace. Excellent. So it adds a nice little ambience. Yeah. Nice view out to the backyard there, which we'll, uh, we'll head out there in just a moment, but 
It's a lot of light in there, a lot of windows in this room. And mm. It's just, uh, it's got a really nice feel to it. It does. It does the, indeed. The all right, and then so we'll sliding door here. We'll pop off to the here. secondary bedrooms. So that's right. You've got sliding doors, so you can keep these ones nice and quiet if you're out here entertaining. So this is bedroom number three in here. And as you can see, plenty of space there. Little kids' bed. Some lovely furniture in here too. It's a bit more challenging to tell with um, with kids' size furniture, but you can easily still accommodate a queen bed in here. Yep. You've got the ceiling fan for comfort. Two door robe, An abundant amount of storage in this house. Bedroom four. Oh yeah, we'll pop on straight on into bedroom four. Again, the block out and the privacy blinds. Yep, and then again, the ceiling fan. Yeah, plenty of space. Carpets throughout are all in really good order. Paint works in great condition considering the age of the house. So separate toilet, main yep. bathroom, shower, single vanity, and then there's your bathtub there, nice deep bath. Yeah, some nice tiling, nice tones. Yeah, it's really well finished off. It is. So from the dining space there, you did have access into the garage. Now we won't go in there because we're hiding a little dog at the moment. Um, but that is extra deep, so it's going to give you great storage space at the back. Yep. But we'll pop out these beautiful French doors. You can see you've got access outside there from the back of the garage as well. And this is a really nice, uh, nice private space out here. Yeah. Well, it's lovely with all the mature landscaping. Nice tiled courtyard. Yeah, you've got the, the, uh, the trees there on the boundary, which give you a bit of privacy from your yeah. neighbours. And you can yeah. see you've got great clearance there, Daniel. So if you wanted to do an al fresco and build something up, you can certainly do that without compromising on light coming in yeah. and, um, and, and ceiling heights for walking around and enjoying. Absolutely. And a spacious backyard. Yeah. So 693 square metres. Not often you'll find this beautiful blank canvas of lawn to enjoy. So whether you've got some grand pool plans or extra shedding, you've certainly got great space down here to add add further um, assets to the property. Mm -hmm. We won't stand out in the rain too long, but look, first opens this weekend. I'll be here from 2 to 2.30 if you want to pop down on Saturday. Otherwise, feel free to get in touch with us and book an inspection. Look forward to hearing from you soon.